What's up, Facebook Live? What's up, everybody all around the world? It's Solace Kingdom Net, Kingdom for Fear, guys. Coming on these videos every day. I hope everybody's doing well. And that's right, a blessed uh, Sunday. But guys, I want to come on here. Yeah, I'm going to keep it short, but I want to talk about... I want, you to, I want you to read Luke chapter 17, verse 5 through 10. And it talks about faith and, and duty. Faith is our duty. What's up, Luke? What's up, Anita? It says, and the apostle... And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. All right, that's the prayer I want you to pray today. Lord, increase our faith. Increase my faith. So the Lord said, in my shirt right now, I have a faith shirt on. It says faith, and it got the, it got the definition of faith. And much more, walk by faith and not by sight. They blessed me with this uh, shirt. Um, walk by faith, the Piro blessed me with the shirt. But I love it. But um, I want you to read um, Luke chapter 17, verse 5 through 10. And it says, and the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. All right, so the Lord said, and I want you to pray that prayer if you just got on. Lord, increase my faith. Because this, in a faith, it, we, walk, we live in a faith walk. We always have to increase our faith. So the Lord said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. And which of you having a servant plowing or tending sheep will say to him when he has come in, the, in from the field, come at once and sit down to eat. Listen to this. This is important. But will he not rather say to him, prepare something for my supper and gird yourself and serve me till I have eaten and drunk. And afterwards you will eat and drink. Yeah, he will say that because it's his duty. It's his duty to serve him because he's his servant. All right. It's our duty to have faith. It's our duty to have faith. Like, it's our duty. We're supposed to live by faith. And then it says, does he think that servant because, does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? Does he thank that servant? That, that's his duty. That's why he getting paid to serve him. You're going to be getting blessed for obeying what the Lord told you to do. It's your duty to obey him. It's your duty. You shouldn't look for a reward for going to church, for, for listening to the word, for having faith. The blessing is going to come automatically. It is your duty as a servant of God to have faith. Let me, let me finish reading this. Does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. I think not. So likewise, you, when you have done all those things which you are commanded, the Lord said when you listen to him and obey him, he will command the blessing upon you. All right, we, you got to have faith for this blessing. Which you are commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what was our duty to do. Guys, it is your duty. Stop looking for a reward for giving. It's, going to, it's automatic. It's going to come, but that shouldn't be your intentions. He said it's more blessed to give than to receive. It is more. I have to shift my whole attitude. My goal is to look for people to bless. That's all I'm looking for. Who can I bless today? Whether it's financial, whether it's, whether it's with these videos, right? Whether it's sending a message, whatever it is. Who can I give today? Who can I give to today? Because it's more blessed to give than to receive. If I give, it's going to come back to me. That's what people don't understand. You're so focused on receiving that you forget that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Therefore, guess what? You're not receiving anything. Because you're not giving anything. Alright, so I want you to focus on this. It's your duty to give. Because it takes faith to give. It's your duty to love. Because perfect love casts out all fear. I can't have fear and love at the same time. I can't have fear and faith. Faith is love. Faith is hope. Right? It's all those things that the Lord talks about. All those fruits of the Spirit. It's faith. It takes faith to, to have peace. It takes faith to have love, to have joy. It takes faith to, to persevere in trials and tribulations. It takes faith to obtain the promise because there's a compromise. There's a promise and a compromise. And you can either receive the compromise or the promise. Here's how you receive the compromise. Let's say you're in a trial, you're in a tribulation, or you're waiting on the Lord for something that you really desire. And a fake shows up, a fake blessing, a blessing that's not from the Lord shows up, but it's your desire. It's your own desire. It's not the Lord's. 
So instead of waiting for the promise, you go receive the compromise and end up hurting yourself because you don't have enough faith to wait. You don't have enough faith to wait for the blessing, the true blessing, the good, the good and perfect gift. That good. I don't want your I don't want your gift. I want the good and perfect gift that comes from above. I want the wife that the Lord wants me to have. I want I want the blessing the Lord wants me to have. I want the business opportunity the Lord wants me to have. I want the business partners the Lord wants me to have. I want the car the Lord wants me to have. The house, right? Everything he wants me to have, I want to receive that. A man can receive nothing unless he be given to him from heaven. John 3, 27, right? I can't receive anything. You can't receive anything unless it be given from heaven. But guess what? How can you receive if you have no faith? A person with no faith, all their hands, their mind, their, everything is closed towards everyone because they don't believe the Lord is going to bless them and show up. You cannot please the Lord without faith. I have my faith shirt on right now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when are you going to start having faith? I'm not talking about belief. That's a whole nother level. You got to have faith first before you can believe. Faith is, it starts inside of you. It's eternal. Belief is tangible. It's physical. It's action. It requires movement. It requires you to see something. That's why the Lord said, believe me for what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, believe me for what I'm saying. He's saying have faith in what he's saying or believe me because of the works. At least believe me because of the works I've done. He said, believe me because of the works I've done. So belief is something you can see. But guys, you got to have faith before you can start believing. All right. I always talk about that. But I want you to know that faith is your duty. It's your responsibility as a servant, as a friend of God, as a friend of Christ. All right. That's why you got to spend more time with him. The more time you spend with Christ, the more faith you would have. OK, I don't care what you're going through. You got to keep going to church. You got to keep getting the word. You got to keep. See, in the Bible, it talks about don't forsake the assembly of the saints. All right, it's not about being a religious and going to church every day as a religion. Like it's a relationship. Do I really love God or am I just serving him when he blesses me? Am I just praising him when he blesses me? All right, when are you really going to develop a relationship to where I don't care what you do, Lord. Though you slay me, I'm still going to church. I'm still going to praise you. I'm still going to lift you up. And guess what? When you begin to bless me more, I'm going to lift you up anymore. I'm going to lift you up even more. When you begin to give me blessings, like the Lord is not going to give you something that the blessings he give, they will not be taken away from you. The blessings he give, they cannot be taken from you. The compromise blessing that doesn't have faith to receive it. It doesn't take faith to receive it. Those compromise blessings, look at all of them. They all have been snatched away from you because they wasn't from God. Look at the compromised relationships, the compromised businesses, the compromised business partners. Right? Look at the compromised money. Where is it now? It's been snatched from you because it wasn't from him. It was a compromised blessing that was not the promise of God. You right there that I'm talking to, you have a ministry, you have a business, you have a business just like Bill Gates got a business. You got a ministry. You have something that you're supposed to be building for your name, for the name of the Lord. But you're the one that owns it. And the Lord is waiting for you to work on the gift he gave you. But it takes faith. And right now you have no faith. And that's why I'm doing this video because you need to ask the Lord, Father, increase my faith. And if there's people around you, increase our faith. Maybe it's a group of you. Maybe it's your whole family or your whole household. And the environment is faithless. Ye of little faith. I've been there. I felt I felt it even recently. When I felt like I, I, I'm, I'm doing these videos, I'm like, Lord, I need more faith. 
I need faith. Even while I'm talking, I'm like, Lord, I do not feel this. But people will say that they, 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 the Lord was speaking through me. But I was like, Lord, I need more faith because it takes hard work to do this. So, guys, I do not want you to compromise for the blessing. I want you to receive. It, 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 the Lord is showing me it's a good. It, there's a discernment. There's a distinctiveness to His blessing, and it takes it takes hard working faith. I want you to know your faith is working. It works. You have to work it. It's 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 like it's a muscle. You have to work it. It takes hard work and faith to receive the promise. It's a verse I'm going to leave you. I don't remember the verse, but it talked about Abraham. And God said Abraham was so convinced of the promise that he did not waver in his faith. He was convinced. And by his faith, his faith grew every day. And his faith gave God glory. I want to ask you this. Is your faith right now, is it giving God glory? Is it giving God glory? Or is God looking at you like, my child, I want to bless you, but right now you cannot please me like this. Like, I can't deny my word. It's impossible to please me without faith. So if you don't turn up your faith, I can't make anything happen for you right now. I want to. I got stacks of blessings, stacks of opportunity. People that are want, people who need to, like they want to bless you, but they don't believe that you believe. So they're hesitant. I got people, I'm talking about, I got people that got, like wealthy people that want to see you win. But they don't believe that you believe. So they're hesitant on blessing you. Because they don't know if that's where they, they're led. They don't know if that's, my if that's where they want me to sow. That's where I'm telling them to sow into. You got to believe. You got to have faith. And when you start having faith, other people will begin to have faith. And what you're called to do. They will see, oh, that is God. Even if you don't have money right now. That's what God did to me last year when I, I had no money. But I had faith. Faith was my currency. And the Lord said, if you can have faith the size of a mustard seed. If you can have faith the size of a mustard seed. Nothing will be withheld from you. Nothing will be impossible for you. No goal. Nothing in your heart. Nothing that you truly desire and want will be withheld from you when you have faith because it pleases him. The Lord owes you blessings, but he can't give them to you because your faith is so, it, it, your faith is little. And yes, he'll give you a little sneak. He'll give you a little snack here and there. But he's like, my child, I have oceans of blessings. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I got all these mansions filled with blessings. I got so much for you. I, I'm not broke. I'm not poor. I'm not a poor God. If I can let a sinner prosper, how much more can I let you prosper? I want you to be blessed so you can turn the sinner from their sins. I want to bless your business more than the sinner's business. But the sinner got faith and I can't I can't stop them from increasing if they got faith. I can't stop faith. They can be doing something totally not my will, but since they got faith, it's going to work. You got to have faith to receive what the Lord is doing. You can't look at your situation. If I was looking at my situation since I've started these videos, I would not have did these videos at all. I would have been gave up. I would have been quit. But I'm looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. Guys, you're here with me now. I'm not right here. I'm going to be honest with you. My vision, my thinking, I'm, somewhere, I'm on a whole nother level right now. I see the end. Ever since I started these videos, all the picture, the only picture I've been picturing is what the Lord showed me. One million souls saved. All right? One million souls saved. Inspired, encouraged. And if they're already saved, they're going to be inspired, encouraged. 
reignited to follow Christ if they're already saved as well. That, that's my vision for doing these videos. For my book, The Light. And of course, I have other I have a, I have other visions for the other things God told me to do. But I'm talking about for this, for doing these videos. That's that's what I want. That's why I want these videos to do. And I believe that it's going to do more than that. But you always got to have a goal. And when you have a goal and you keep focusing on that goal, and you have faith. See, I can do these videos right now and have no faith. But guess what? I do have faith. Here's, why, here's how I want to let you know I have faith. Because my work shows that I believe. So guys, you can have doubt in your mind. You can have doubt in your mind. But your actions will really show if you really have faith. It says that, do you see by his works, his faith was made perfect. So, I could have a little doubt. But he said, if I have faith the size of a mustard seed, he knows you're going to doubt. You're not perfect. You're not him. But if you can have faith, you can have some faith in there. Increase your faith. So look, if he said have faith as a mustard seed and he told them before that you had little faith, how small is your faith right now? Because a mustard seed is small. So how small is your faith? Do you have an ant, ant sized faith? Serving this big God? We got to turn up our faith. And when I talk about turn up faith, action is required. Belief is required. But you got to build up your faith first, guys. I love you. Focus on faith. All right? Focus on faith. Listen to this again. Focus on the scripture I said. Increase, ask the Lord to increase your faith. All right, guys. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I just want you to know this. Everything the enemy stole from you, I know this from experience. The Lord has a set time to where everything that was stolen, everything that was stolen, he will force the blessing. I mean, he will force. He will force the blessing. He will force the blessing upon you. When you've been when you've been robbed, when you've been mistreated, and you've had faith, I'm telling you, you're gonna see it on me. I've, can I be honest with you? I've been robbed. I've been cheated. And the Lord knows it. But I know this: He will not leave me comfortless. In his house, there are many mansions. And I want you to see these videos every day. Because when the Lord blesses me, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. When the Lord blesses you for being obedient, when he blesses you, don't, don't, look. Don't act like you're surprised. I knew he was going to bless me. You might have thought, you might have thought, oh yes, he got, you might have thought that, that, I already knew he was going to bless me because that's the confidence I have in Christ. A person's faith can show if they believe God is about to bless them or not. A person's faith can show if they believe God. The, I don't care what's going on around them. I have things going on around me. I'm a human. All right. The, the reason I know one reason why the Lord has me doing this. I'm so glad he's been breaking pride off of me and I love it because I must decrease. This is what he told me. Yes. I think yesterday he told me, he said, I, I must decrease to me. He said, Solace, you must decrease and I must increase. You know what he was saying? Like he was just basically saying, you must humble yourself. And I must be exalted. And when you humble yourself, I will be exalted in you and through you. Humility proceeds to honor. So I won't be surprised when the Lord honors me, when he blesses me. I won't. Because I have, I, 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 that's the confidence I have in the gospel. And you should have that same confidence. 
a, look, somebody in the world should not have more confidence in the in what they're doing. That's not even good. Guys, do you know there's people who making they make beer commercials? Why do they have more faith in you making your own you making your own product? Why? Why do they have confidence in putting out this this wicked stuff that ain't helping nobody? But people use it. Why do they have more confidence than you? Why do they have more faith than you? See, I love to see. I lo look, I love it. It increases my faith. I love to see somebody who's not serving God. I, I love to see it. I love to see them succeeding. Because what it does is it, say, it, it lets me know, Lord, you, your grace is so sufficient. And I love all people. Your grace is sufficient because the Lord shines on the just and on the unjust. If you can do it for them, I'm confident you will do it for me. Because the Lord wants you to be blessed so you can help them turn from their wicked ways. He don't want you not to be blessed. How can you give him glory if you're not blessed? But this is what he needs you to do. He needs you to stay faithful. Because this, this, this is the difference between the Lord blessing the righteous and the unrighteous. The wicked will be cut off. That's, that's what he said in the word. Me personally, I don't want anybody to be cut off. I, I, I love everybody. But I'm not God. He's the judge. If you don't turn, you don't repent. That's what he says. For all of us. Me too. It's for all of us. He's not a respecter of persons. But the righteous will flourish like the branch, like the palm tree. Right? They will flourish like the tree in Lebanon. They will flourish. But you got to stay faithful to God. You got to stay in faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. Guys, I love you. Be blessed. Be anxious for nothing. All things prayer, guys. And I want you to just keep watching these videos. I'm not, I'm telling you this. And I've been saying this since I've started. I'm not giving up. I'm doing these videos every day. Because I love God. And I want, I want to give him glory. No matter what's going on in my life, I want to give him glory. Because <clears throat> this is my dream I've had since I was young. I said, Lord, I see everybody else. They, some, I just, I just, this is what I wanted to do. This is ever since I was young. I said, Lord, even before I become what you promised me, I want to give you glory. So when you do bless me, Lord, I know I can't earn it, but so, so when you do bless me, Lord, it, it just feels better. It feels better. I just feel better to give him glory when I'm going through it. To when, then when he blesses me, because I remember last year when I, I, I really, I really wanted to earn a certain amount of money per month in a company and it did not happen. But guess what? Every night I was praising God. Every night I was worshiping God. I was loud. I was crying out to him. And then I'll go and work my business. Nothing would happen. And he made something happen. He showed me the dream. And he made something happen that nobody expected. I didn't even expect it. But I was just, I was praising him and worshiping him. And then when he made it happen, guess what? I kept praising and worshiping him. And then when he stopped, when he stopped it, I'm, I'm still praising and worshiping him. So I just think that I, I, I just feel I feel good that I that when it wasn't happening, that I, I just feel good that I stayed faithful. Because even if I didn't stay faithful, I think he still would have stayed faithful. He can't change. But he's so great of a God. I think he deserves us. It's our duty to stay faithful. And I think, I do think that he gave me a little extra more than what I asked for because of my faithfulness. I really do think that. Well, guys, I hope I said, I hope that, I hope you understood something I said. I don't, like, I don't know what I'll be talking about sometimes. I just let the Lord go. I let him do what he want to do. But guys, I love you all.
Your number one will, your number one, uh, oh, your number, your it will produce instant, oh, instant testimonies. Your it will produce instant testimony. Amen. Amen. Your it will produce instant testimonies. Your it, whatever you're going through. Your story. Yep. But guys, I love you. Thank you all for supporting me in this and just sharing. All right. I appreciate everybody on here. Thank you, Arian. Thank you, Natasha. Everybody else, Luke, Anita, everybody else that I don't see. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'm doing this every day. Guys, remember, pray for me too. Pray for me too. I pray for you all. I'm thankful for you all on here. But I want you to know, whenever you're doing, whenever you're doing your ministry, whenever you're doing what the Lord called you to do, there's gonna be there's gonna be a fight. And it's not a fight for what you have. It's a fight for your faith. And I, I know this. More people are going to be watching these videos when the Lord blesses me, when, when he makes it happen more. Right? When they can see more, more tangible blessings. I know that. I know that. But there's some people that need to see me right now where I'm at. They need to see me. They think they're going through something. And they're not going through anything. They're not going through anything. They need to see me. There's people that, that are even, you know, they, they have more finances than me. They're doing better than me financially, but there's faith. Their faith is off. Their faith is totally off. And guys, I've been there where I was earning money and I was not happy. Money does not make you happy. You got, I. this is what I learned from my dad. My, my dad, I love my dad, guys. I, my, I mean, if you really... My parents have helped a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people. I've seen it. I, I mean, I've, I've even reached out to people to look at my business opportunity, and they looked at my business because of what my parents did for them. That's an impact. They saw my name, and they said, You're Solace King, son. Your dad helped me. Your mom helped me. Right? Your parents Help me. I want to help you. I don't care what you're doing. I want to bless you. That's the type of impact you want to make. It's not always about money. It's about changing people's lives. But my dad, my parents couldn't do that without faith. But I just, I, I, I mean, one of my goals, my, my biggest goal I'm not, I guess I'm not like every, everybody else, but since I was young, I used to get in trouble a lot. And for some reason, the Lord, the Lord just gave me wisdom when I was younger. He just hit me in the head and shifted my whole thinking. I don't know what happened, but I used to get in trouble a lot. Look, this is how bad I was. I was so bad that the principal went and bought me McDonald's. That's how you know you're bad. The principal got to go get you some food to calm you down. That's how you know. But the Lord fixed me. He shifted my thinking. He showed me this. Because before my parents, at that time, my parents, they were not full-time entrepreneurs. He just showed me this. And I don't know, for some reason, it touched me. He said, don't you see what you're causing to your parents? They got to stop working. Like he showed me the deep stuff that most children, they don't really understand. They got to come to the office, stop working to come tend to this unnecessary, unnecessary attention, unnecessary things. Take off work to come to tend to this. He showed me that it, it, it might it might not have hit you like it hit me just now. But when, when it hit me when I was younger and you know what? I changed my behavior. I said, you know what? My dad said, treat, treat the teachers like you would treat me and mom. And it's like, this little wisdom shifted my mind. So I just stopped acting up in class. And when I stopped acting up in class, guess what? Everything got better in my classrooms. The teachers started treating me better. Like, you don't, you, you do not... You don't have to do the wrong thing to get what you want. 
I was doing, I was misbehaving. Children that misbehave, they're doing it because they're trying to get something. Trying to get attention, trying to get, they're trying to get something. But you don't, you don't have to misbehave to get the blessing, to get what you really want. I didn't understand that. I was trying to be the cool kid, but I became the cool kid. Now, I got favor everywhere. When I, when, when I stopped, Guys, I was selling my music album in school to the principals. When I stopped being bad, everybody started favoring me. It's like I could go, I could go to any class, any teacher, and they're like, that's solace, yeah, come in. Principals. Right? I made a song for my principal. Who who does that? Who makes music for the school? For the football team? Just all type of favor. Favor with radio personalities. Right? How does that happen? It's shifting. It's, it's having faith. Right? But it's shifting. Because I had to have faith in what the Lord was showing me. To start acting good. There was a reason I was acting bad. I, I mean, I really didn't. I don't know why. I was just. Of course I was young. But I believed what the Lord showed me. When, and I started acting good. But guys, I don't somebody needed to hear that. I don't know how I got to this to this. I really don't. But somebody needed to hear that. You do not have to be bad to get the blessing. All right, that's the fate. See, when I was younger, I thought you had to be bad. Man, when I started when I started to just go by the rules of the school, I started to get everything I wanted, dude. Like I can't, I can't explain it. Like I got fa I got favor with I got so much favor. You don't you don't understand how much favor I got. And I know why, because I treated, see, they, it used to be this perspective in school. Like, I can't explain it. Like the bad kids get it, get everything or something. Something like that. But that's not the truth, man. It's it's the ones that that do what is right. When you do what is right, you got favor everywhere. All right, even after school, I got people that, you know, reach out to me. And if I see them again, if I see the football coach, or, like, they'll know me. They'll know me. All right? So, guys, I hope this helped you. I really don't know what I was just talking about at the end. <laughs> but maybe it helped you. The Lord just be, I just be, I let him go. But obedience yields favor. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Obedience. When I stop being bad. All right. But I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glad that I did that because I really, I mean, I love, I was talking about blessing my parents. Look, I, I remember now. I was talking about blessing my parents. And, and that, that's my number one desire. The reason, when I wrote the light, can I tell you how it came? I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, I was in my in our older house in Houston. Man, by the way, our neighborhood, man, I, I mean, I'm glad we moved. The neighborhood is messed up, but at the same time, I want to help. But, man, <laughs> I'm glad the Lord moved us. But I do want to help them. I, I, I saw my friends and stuff on the boats and stuff. It's crazy. But, um... Man, I, the reason I wrote the light, I'm about to get off here. All right. The reason I wrote the light, I, this was my prayer. I said, Lord, I want to bless my parents. I want to be honest with you. I said, Lord, I want to bless my parents with $50,000 each. Really. That that was my prayer. I just want to be honest with you. That was my prayer. And he's been using other vehicles for me to bless my parents. Just like when I got involved with Forex, my parents got blessed from that decision. They got blessed financially. They really did. But um, I, I that was my prayer because my parents have given so much to me and my three older sisters, and I it's my duty to bless them. It's my duty. I don't care how blessed they are. They gonna get a blessing from me. They gonna get it, and I've been giving them blessings here and there, you know. But they gonna get. They go. I don't care how blessed they are. They gonna get a. They're going to get blessed. But that was my prayer. And when I prayed that prayer, I just want to be honest with you. I prayed that prayer. 
And the Lord said, write a book. And I said, Lord, me, it was, I never saw the Lord talk to me like this before. He said, write a book. Do you know the same day I wrote the book, the whole thing, he said, name it the light. He gave me the title. He gave me the subtitle. I did not change it. The title, I think I changed the subtitle. I made it more clear to what he wanted me to do. But he said, write the sub, he said, write the subtitle. The, I didn't know how to do this. I'm used to writing songs. It's, it's kind of similar. Then he said, write, he said, it's going to be seven chapters. He said, the first chapter is honor your parents. You think that's their own accident? The Lord heard my prayer right there because he saw it from, a, I was really praying that prayer. I was really praying that prayer. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Just had to say that. I was, I was really praying that prayer. And the first verse was honor your parents. All right. I mean, the first chapter, I said verse. First chapter was honor your parents. Right. That's what it talks about. And also in that chapter, it's deeper than just honoring your parents. It talks about honoring your parents, but it also talks about if you don't have parents, because I know everybody don't have parents, finding somebody, a mentor that you can look up to, right? And if you can get a personal mentor, um, get close to them and learn from them. But guess, guess what? I was also talking to people, to older people, and I said, older people, look for younger people to mentor. Look for older, if you're, because younger people need mentors. If the, you see somebody... Look, I need mentors too. Just because I got my parents, that don't, that don't, I take, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like this. See, some people think that I only receive advice from my parents. And I've had people say that, you know, you got parents that are, I said, no, I listen to everybody. I'll get wisdom. If I don't agree with what you're saying, I'll just throw it, I'll toss it to the side. That's good. But I, I get, I, I'm a great, I'm working on being a great receiver. I can choose what I want to, what I want to um, digest. And I could choose what I want to throw away, but I'm going to receive. All right. But that's why the book, the light, that's how it was created. And the Lord gave me everything. He showed me where to go to free publish it because I did not have no money to do it at all. And I did it all with no money. All right. And then I bought a copy. Well, I had some money, but I bought a copy and, and looked at it and I bought another copy to revise it. But just like a little, a little bit. All right. Right, struggling because my business at that time was not growing, and then all of a sudden he just started blessing me, and people started buying it, and then I got involved in the business, and he blessed me in the business. All right, and he's not done blessing me because he he looks, the Lord sees my heart right now. Right now I I, I see angels clapping, I see God sitting down, he relaxing, he he looking at me. He all over the place. He's looking at me right now. And he's like, wow, Silas, I'm so proud of you. Just keep, stay faithful because I, I remember I remember crying last season when I didn't have nothing work. It didn't look like nothing was working for me, but everything was working for my good. Now, when I go through things, guess what? I'm not crying no more. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep praising him. That's my goal, to keep praising him. All right. So, guys, that's how the book was was written. Like, that's exactly what happened. I prayed that prayer because I wanted to bless my parents. Like that. That's that's my number one. That's my number one goal. Like that. That's number one. I have a lot of different goals. Of course, to do you know, preach the gospel, sing through music, through the gospel, all that. But in the Bible it says, honor your parents. It's the only commandment with a promise. Honor your mom and dad, your father and mother. And your days will be long upon the earth, right? Everything said, all will go well for you. And I think that's why I, I, I confess it. All is well with me. Even, even when things may not look like it, or even to other people, I confess all is well. All right? So, guys, I love you. This was longer than I expected, but the Lord is good. Let's magnify him, guys. Keep watching these videos because it's only going to get gooder. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get more, more blessings. That's, that, that's all that's coming. There's nothing else that can come. 
He said, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They're plans for good. So guess what? Good things are coming to me. Something good is coming my way. All right? Something good. Uh, hey, my faith. If I don't have faith, what's going to happen to me? If I, if I say nothing's good happening, what is that going to do for me right now? And even if things are going good for you, keep having faith for better. Because the just shall live by faith. So, guys, I love you. Somebody just something on Instagram. But, guys, be blessed. Thank you, Natasha, for all the love, everybody. And I still hear the Holy Spirit saying, in my house, there are many mansions. If there was not so, right? In my Father's house. That's what Jesus said. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not, I would, I would tell you. So, the Lord went and prepared a place for us. We have a prepared blessing, a prepared place. Look, on earth and in heaven. Trust me. Trust him by trusting me that he sent me to speak this. Because if you don't believe what I'm saying, then you don't believe Jesus. And if you don't believe Jesus, then you don't believe the Father. Because they're all in one. You don't believe the Holy Spirit. That's speaking through me. He has something prepared for you. If it was not so, he would not tell us. All right? He's been speaking his verse to me all night, all day. Even while I was at church, in my father's house. All right? There's many mansions. Many. So that, you know what that means? The Lord is not broke. So stop acting like he can't do it. The Lord is not in lack. He can do what you've been asking him to do. Step out on faith. Jump on faith. Turn up your faith. In his house, there are many mansions, all right? You're one of them. You're full of blessings, prepared. You got to believe that. You got to have faith, all right? He prepared this for us. That's why we can ask anything in his name and it will be done because he has so much for us. What is, a what is a mansion? What is a mansion? On earth, yes, it's huge, right? But in heaven, it's huger. It's huger. It's not just about a house. It's bigger than that. All right? It's eyes haven't seen. Ears have not heard. Nor have it entered into your heart what the Lord has prepared for those who love him, guys. So keep loving him. Keep being faithful. I'm about to rest, guys. I love you. Be blessed. Later.